Hello and welcome to another Aggies Beers, Wines and Spirits review from back in the house. Today you're going to be reviewing from a Blue Monkey on sale now, Three Wise Monkeys. It is a Dark Porter 4.5% and it says gloriously enriched with caramel and a hint of orange. Infused with tonka beans to impart underlying tones of marzipan, cherry and vanilla. So it sounds fantastic. Cost uh, three pounds something a bottle. So not the cheapest, but it's not available in supermarkets. So whenever it's not available in supermarkets, you are paying a premium, you know. But if you want the beers, you've got to pay, ain't you, really? So straight away, dark, black in colour, with a dark tan head. Obviously it's retaining the head well, so it's not going straight away, so obviously good carbonation lacing. Yeah, dark, ooh. Strong chocolatey on the nose. Ooh. Where's them flavours? Definitely getting cherry, and I'm sure I got marzipan there as well. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. First time I've had it. First time I've seen it. I've never actually seen this before. Well done, Blue Monkey, for bringing out Christmas beers. Personally, I think all breweries should bring out two or three. Christmas beers and throughout the year themed beers. One to cater for, say, it's this time of the year, mostly it's about dark beers, cater for dark beer lovers, but cater for, you know, your other fans, you know, the, the mainstream who probably want a more traditional beer or a blonde or whatever, you know, for Christmas. But try and make it Christmassy flavoured if you can. But yeah. can definitely get cherry from it as well. It did say cherry, didn't it? Yeah. Orange. There is a lot of flavours coming from this. It's not like the Christmassy, uh, the Christmas pudding beers with dried fruits in it. This is, it's fruity but in a different way, you know. It's uh, different, very different. Oh, that is a quaffable beer definitely so you can all you, you know if, if you need if you want to get it blue monkey obviously sell it in their brewery shop um there's a bloke called uh, who i got mine from adventure beers direct and i have also seen this at garden centers in nottinghamshire uh, the bigger ones anyway that do sell beers um yes that's a, a jolly, decent Christmassy beer, and I do like a dark. I mean, I don't mind Christmas beers in other, you know, other types of, you know, um, blondes, coppers, ales, and all sorts. But to have a traditional dark porter is uh, it's where it's at, isn't it? And again, I went to, I went to, just been to Asda earlier, and nothing, no no Christmas beers or, at all, not even Christmas ciders. Yeah, they've gone to town on, um, they've got a gingerbread liqueur, uh, rum, uh, but, you know, overall disappointment f from all sectors of the supermarket industry this year. Uh, only Lidl have got a Christmas beer, even Aldi haven't. Uh, not that I've seen anyway. Um, the winners, Marks uh, B and M have sold out of all theirs. There's no Christmas beers left in B and M. Went today, none left. Well, not in the B and M in Mansfield anyway. Um, 
so this year my you know winner of the Christmas beer season uh, for the for the different ones early on B and M, but overall Marks and Spencers, the kings of the Christmas beers. They've got Christmas beers. They've got Christmas ciders, and then they've also got a lot of Christmassy liqueurs. And uh, yeah, very disappointing with the others. Very disappointing. It does look like if you really do want your Christmas stuff, you know, you want to go whole hog on Christmas beers, is to um, go to a specialist retailer, the likes of Drink Supermarket, Bottle Club, um, Beer Hawk, if that's the name, yeah. And you're going to have to go to them and uh, probably pay a bit, a bit through the nose, but to be sure, getting proper Christmas beers. Although uh, the company I use, Adventure Beer, uh, they're a Nottinghamshire, Nottingham-based company, but I presume this they uh, deliver over the country for a fee at least. And especially if you're in the Nottingham area, you're laughing because it's on your doorstep, you know. And for me, it's great because I, I don't want to travel all over Nottinghamshire going for beers. Because one, I might get to a brewery and not fancy any of the beers. And then you've wasted petrol. And yeah, petrol's not cheap, so you, it's something to be took into consideration. Um, when you look at costings for beers, I mean, we went to Titanic Brewery and it cost us like three for six quid on their beers, two pound each. But half these beers I've never seen anywhere else, so for us it was it was a good good thing to do. And uh, this year, I'm going to drive over to Great Yarmouth, uh, do Great Yarmouth, do Pleasurewood Hills, the theme park. And it'll be crafty and go to St. Peter's Brewery and um, take a load of money and buy everything they've got. But that's, that's, that's for later. The only problem is, this time of the year is when I want to go because they've got the Christmas ales in. And I haven't seen Shepherd Neem's Christmas ale this year so far. Disappointment there. Back to this fella. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? You know, it's... Uh, a lovely porter and it's got lots of different flavours I mean it says a uh, caramel orange um, marzipan cherry vanilla this chocolate there and uh, I've got to say it's not a roasty toasty uh, porter but it's got a lot of flavour to it and it's definitely worth adding to your list Very nice tasting. And I do love a beer that on the first uh, bottle you've had, you know, it's good from day one, you know, the first bottle. So, uh, black in colour, tan head, um, like I said, chocolate on the taste, but all the elements that they described, so orange, marzipan, cherry, vanilla, they're all there. You can taste it, and it, it is a pleasure to drink. At five, I'm going to give this about a 4.5 out of 5. Really nice. Same as the alcohol content. Um, yeah, that was a really nice dark port. I'm going to have to get myself another one. You never know. Never what Santa brings. Right, that's enough for this review. Thanks for watching. See you soon.